So YouTuber Tom Nash is making the claim that Israel is going to cancel its deal with Lebanon in which Lebanon was given the oil gas offshore and that this will cause Lebanon to hinder Hezbollah's attacks on Israel and that this will bring about peace in the north. Now they're basically forcing Lebanon to make a choice because you see if Lebanon loses this agreement what ends up happening is something very interesting. Israel doesn't have to fire a single bullet. They don't have to take over anything. Because you see, once this 330 square mile strip or triangle becomes disputed again, well, there's not a single developer in the world, not French, not Canadian, not US, not anywhere that's going to develop that region. The whole idea for Lebanon was to get somebody who has skills and with money that's going to come in and develop that field, that's going to basically, you know, explore it and develop it and whatnot. It's billions of dollars the Lebanese don't have. Now, this worked because the dispute got solved. If this becomes a disputed water again, there ain't nobody in the world that's going to take the risk of coming in there and basically investing billions of dollars just to find themselves in a war zone and legal stuff and international lawsuits. Now, the thing is that Hezbollah represents a lot of the Shia in Lebanon and a lot of them are within the Lebanese military. In order to rein in Hezbollah, Lebanon would have to use the Lebanese military in order to rein them in. Unfortunately, the Lebanese military is filled with a lot of Shia Muslims who actually support Hezbollah. And to add this up, assuming there's a question whether Hezbollah is fully autonomous from Iran or they take orders from Iran, but in other case, Hezbollah, Nasrallah wants to make a war with Israel and they want to make it into a war that the Lebanese people will get behind. As he says here, he is ready to open up the... The, the war with Israel at any time. understand that Hezbollah wants to create a Iranian state like in Lebanon, which is why they support Khomeini and Khomeini is their spiritual leader. And what they want to do is they want to bring the Iranian revolution to Lebanon. Hezbollah has a well trained force of over 100,000 terrorist fighters. They have about 150,000, 200,000 rockets. 50,000 of them are actually accurate and GPS guided. They are far more advanced and better trained than the Lebanese army. So even if the Lebanese army had a will to rein them in, which they won't, because number one, they don't have the capability to it. And secondly, they have a lot of loyalists within the Lebanese army that support Hezbollah. Hezbollah's interest is not in the oil gas thing. The whole oil gas deal was just a way to get uh, Lebanese support to support them and show that they cared about Lebanon. But their ultimate goal is to bring about the Iranian revolution to Lebanon and to subjugate all the other minorities in Lebanon to the Shia Islamic Iranian revolution. And as you see here, they keep on firing rockets and shooting at Israeli targets, regardless of what the Lebanese people care about, especially from the Christian and Druze minorities who are not interested in war, but nothing will stop them, no matter how much the Mikati and the other Iranian, uh, the other Lebanese officials have been wanting to bring about calm on their southern border. The fact is Hezbollah doesn't care, and they'll use any kind of other excuse in order to start a war with Israel. And they have been firing indiscriminately for about four months since the beginning of the October 7th war with Hamas.